closet there. Eh? You may hear all, but pray you have patience, sir. Eh? The same your father knocks, I am compelled to leave you. Oh, gentlemen, you come too soon. Well, what meant you? I did not I say I would send for you. I fear that you would you would forget it and then thwart us. Thwart? Did hear a man haste so for his horn, sir? Well, there's now no helping it. Stay here, I, I'll presently return. You know not wherefore I have brought you hither. Not well, except you told me. No, I will. Hark, hither. Pray, John, dear sir. <laughs> sir, Signor Carvino has come to see you. And on hearing of the consultation had so lately for your health, has come to offer a rather sir to prostitute. Yes, thanks, <laughs> his almost fair and proper wife, the the beauty <laughs> to be your comfortress and to preserve you. <laughs> oh, heaven! Was this the plan? Uh, go to him with your wife, sir. Oh, heaven! Canst thou suffer such a change? Come, thou will not be rebellious by this light. Oh, good sir, be jealous again. Emulate them and think what hate they burn towards every sin. If I thought it were a sin, I, I, would, I would not hurt you. If I offered you to some young Frenchman or hot Tuscan blood, that would be a sin. <laughs> but here, tis contrary, a mere deed of charity, a pious work. Honest business to assure mine own. For heaven and saints, then nothing. Heart of my father, will thou not persist thus? Come do it, I pray. Thou seest his nothing. Come do it. Mr. Kilby, brother, I would drink down poison. <laughs> nay, gentle lady, be advised. <laughs> That's precious, this is scurvy, very scurvy. And thou art an armed locust, by heaven a locust. Sorry. <laughs> if, if you were absent, she would be more coming. <laughs> What woman can before her husband? Huh? <laughs> Nay, let us depart and leave her here. Thou shalt redeem all yet. I'll say no more. If not, esteem thyself as lost. <laughs> Nay, stay there. Oh, God, it is good angels. <laughs> <laughs> wither, wither. Is shame fled to human breast? Ease men dare discard your honours and their own. I, in poor vino and such earth fed minds that have never tasted the true heaven of love, why art thou amazed to see me thus revived? Rather applaud thy beauty's miracle. Sir! Nay, fly me not, nor let thy false imagination that I were bedrid make thee think that I am so. You shall not find it, for I am now. As fresh, hot, high, and in as jovial a plight as when I first acted, young and tinnious. Oh, I can strike this my offending face. Why droops my seer? Thou hast in place of a base, crude husband found thyself a worthy lover. Use thy fortune.